Here we go, guys. We're gonna try out for flock number three. We've had the worst luck with raccoons for our first couple of flocks of chickens, and we're gonna do some changes here for this third flock and see if we can't keep these ones alive. We bought 13 chicks. I can't remember what he said the breeds were. Three different breeds, like Rhode Island Reds, uh, Sex Links or something, and I can't remember. I don't know much about chickens. Well, they found their food. I'm hoping they can get up and drink out of this water that I got for them. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'll just have to watch them make sure they're drinking. So, wish us luck with this bunch. Can you say hi, chicks? What do you think of the chick, mister? Huh? No, you're not going <laughs> to... It doesn't want to kiss wants you. put it in his mouth. No kisses, huh? Say no kisses. Say hi, chicky. Oh, it wants to get down. That one wants to get down. Friends. So it's been a month since we got these chicks. They've grown pretty good. Starting to get pretty big. So our chickens are starting to get some pretty good size to them. So I need to start working on getting a run built for them out here in front of the chicken coop. So I think I was telling you guys that we moved our chicken coop from over there by the milk barn because we've lost two flocks of chickens over there to, to raccoons and we're hoping that moving them closer to the house and having the our dogs here close by, that, that'll deter all them predators from coming too close. So I got some pressure treated four by fours there, 10 foot long. I'm gonna start digging some holes, some post holes in front of the coop here. Get those stood up and go from there. We'll kind of put this run together as we as we go. So our coop here is supposed to be big enough for 12 birds. At least that's from the research I've done, the size that that coop is. You should be able to fit 12 birds in there comfortably. We've got 13 chickens because we bought one extra because we, we figured one would die, but they all made it. So we've got 13 chickens. So I want to make my run big enough to house you know, 12 to 13 chickens. And from what I've seen on the internet, they're saying you want about 10 square feet per chicken. So I'm gonna try to make my run about 120 square feet, 140 square feet, somewhere in there. I'd rather have it a little bit too big than too small. So I'm just gonna get my measurements here. I'm probably gonna go about 10 foot by, by 12 foot is what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna measure it out, put my, my posts in the ground, then run my string line, get everything squared up and start digging holes. We got pretty lucky with these fresh treated four by fours. They're pretty twisted and warped, and so the lumber yard actually just gave them to us for free. So you can't beat that. So I stuck my post in the ground, and I'm just measuring the corners. So if you measure from that corner to this corner, and if you measure from that corner to that corner, your measurements should be the same if your square is square. And we're within a half an inch, so that's good enough for a chicken run. So I got everything laid out, and I'm ready to start digging some holes. So I got 10 holes marked out. So I got four on the on the front, three for the links, and four more up there. I'll probably dig these holes two or three feet deep. Like I said, I got 10 foot pressure treated four by fours there. So I wanna stick them down in the ground a little ways. With projects like these, I don't really ever have a plan. I just kinda work my way through it and think oh well that'll probably work, look good or that'll work good and it's good just just go with that so that's what we're doing with this one also i'm just kind of working my way through it and just figuring it out as i go along <laughs> done. I just went about two feet with it. I don't think I need to go much deeper than that. Probably just be overkill because I'm gonna have so much um, like cross bracing and stuff going on. I don't think I need to go much deeper. Got Ellis helping me again. 
Hi, mister. You being a big help? You helping out dad? What have you been eating? You been eating dirt? Ah, you can see it all over your lips. Yuck. Yuck. All right, nine more to go. All right, everyone. We got our posts up. I didn't get to do much filming because this rainstorm's coming. So I was in a pretty big hurry. Hear that? So but we got our posts up. We're good. Call it a day. See you guys at the next step. So what I'm doing now is getting my stringers ready. So I'm going to attach my chicken wire to that run. I've got a bunch of scrap flat pallets that I've collected. So I'm just going to use these for runners. I just got to get them off the off the pallet and make them usable. Some of them are just screwed on so I can just use a screwdriver or I can just use a drill and a Phillips bit to take them off and then the other ones are nailed on. So I'll just use a sawzall with a metal blade and cut through those nails and get those boards off. All right, we got a couple of those pallets dismantled. So we'll go use those for our runners and get going on this run. Of course, it's raining again. Oh, we're finally getting some good weather. So the other day, Memorial Day, me and my brother put up all these runs here, these uh, these horizontal boards, and my wife stained them, and now I'm starting to put up my wire mesh. Like I said, I'm just scrapping together all this stuff. So all these runs are just boards from pallets that are being thrown away. So I disassembled a bunch of pallets for those. And then some of this wire here, just stuff that we had laying around the farm. I had used in my dog run previous years. So we've got some wire like this. We've got some shorter stuff. Then we have your actual chicken wire. So this coop's gonna have, or this run's gonna have a whole bunch of different wire on it. It should work pretty good. So we'll get this wire put on and see how much more we need to go find. All right, so I got all my wire mesh tacked up. I'm gonna come back through and tighten these a bit and use a stapler and nail them to my runners. But what I'm doing now is I gotta make some kind of tunnel. Cause I got this gap here between my run and the coop. So I need to make a tunnel for these chickens to be able to run down this ramp into the run. So that's what I'm working on now. I cut out a hole here in this wire. If you guys can see, I cut this thicker wire here. I left plenty of length here. So that's going to be going to be the opening of my tunnel. The same thing on the sides here. I should have kept these longer before I cut them, but I wasn't thinking about that. I kept the tops longer though. So well, I'm, what I think I'm going to do is I've got is I've got this screen or something I found that I think I can this stuff here. I think I can bend it to like a dome. Like that, over that run. So work on that and see how that goes. So I got this on. I don't love the way it turned out. I'll probably end up changing it in the future, but I just want to get these chickens out of the coop so they can start running around a bit, get outside. So next thing I got to do is figure out my door here. I got a little piece of wire up there for now. I might just keep the wire up and use that as a door. I might take the time today and build an actual door. But I got a bunch of other things I got to do today. I'm running the shuttle tonight for Old Dominion, so I need to get a little bit of nap in also. Let's figure out the door and then let the chickens out. All right, I got my little makeshift door complete there. So I want to put a tin roof on this eventually. I think when I do that, I'll probably make a bit better door, but for now this will work fine. I'm running out of time, so just a little makeshift one real quick and should do the job. Let's let the chickens out and see how they like it. All right, I just got this little metal cable that goes to this door here. So we'll open that up for them and see if they come out. Let's 
taking a little bit of persuasion to get him to go out. Huh, oh, chickens. Up, yep. Up. Yep. <laughs> well, it took a little bit of coaxing, but we got him out. They should like that a little bit better. Get out of that coop for a while. All right, well, that about does it for that video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll probably do a part two when i whenever i put the roof on up here and if i do any other little projects on here i'll fill you in on that too you say hey hey <laughs> got ellis with us what's that jake got ellis with us got ellis huh yeah <clears throat> We just finished doing the last little thing I'm gonna do on this chicken run, at least for a little while till I get the roof on. So this is the only thing that we ended up buying for this. And it's just a little shade tarp that I strung up just to give these chickens a little bit more shade. Just so they're not in the direct sunlight in the heat of the day. So that's gonna about do it for this chicken run for now until I put on the roof. And that might not be till this fall. And who knows if I'll get to it then either. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Have a good day. Ray Willie Entertainment. Yeah. Ray Dillon Taylorsville.